Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to Cooking in Jewett's Kitchen. You're in my kitchen. And if you didn't see last month's cooking episode, we did a Valentine's Day special making lasagna for your significant other, so please check that video out. But today, we're gonna be making air fryer crispy chicken sandwich. So let's get into this one. Everyone loves a good crispy chicken sandwich, whether you're going to Chick-fil-A or some special restaurant, um, it, it's a meal that a lot of times will be really high in fat because you're having to fry this chicken breast. So we're going to utilize the air fryer and really limit the fat. So you can fit this within your current off-season diet and it'll just match your macros. And technically, we're matching macros. It's not, not really a cheat meal, opposed to like you going out and eating something and not being able to control those calories. So here's our spread. This is what you're going to need for this recipe. Uh, for the buns, I chose an onion bun, which uh, these have a little bit higher fat in them. Uh, for each bun, it's 42 grams of carbs, six grams of fat, and uh, I'm sorry, six grams of protein and four grams of fat. So keep that in mind when you're looking for your macros and you're looking at your meal, that you might choose a bun that's lower in fat, or you can, you can find buns that are even higher in carbohydrate if you really need to. And that also comes down to bun size. So if, if you're limited on carbs, you could find like a thin sliced hamburger bun and limit your carbs that way. Uh, or you can find just a really large bun if you need to bulk up your carbs if you're, you're having a lot more calories in your diet. So that's our buns. Uh, we do just have chicken breast out. So I've already pre-cut some raw chicken breast. It's about eight ounces uncooked which uh, roughly calculated, that's gonna be about 50 grams of protein. So I weighed those out uncooked so I know beforehand, because once I have my flour and egg mix and everything on them, it'll be a lot harder to weigh it out to know what the macronutrients are. So for speaking of the mix, your mix that you'll need, you'll need, you, we have self-rising flour. Um, you could use just all-purpose flour, will we'll be perfectly fine. Uh, so you'll definitely be adding some direct carb sources to your chicken breast. And then also, to make it stick, we have just one egg placed into a, a container, and that's gonna be enough for about eight ounces of chicken. As far as the flour that's weighed out, um, since we've made this before, we know that it's about 40 grams of flour, which is just a little over a quarter cup of flour. And, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get into this, how we do these macros for this, because um, a lot of people know like, well, you put your flour on, how do you know how much flour you're putting on to count those macros in? So we'll get into that. Uh, seasonings that we're gonna be adding into our flour will be a quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Again, it's kind of just a taste, but that's what we had measured out. Um, then we'll also have a half teaspoon of garlic powder and a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper, I mean, really all, the, all these seasonings are optional, but the cayenne pepper is definitely gonna add that spiciness to it. So if you want a spicy crispy chicken sandwich, add in the cayenne. Other things you might need, and again, these, these last ones are gonna be optional for you, but a lot of chicken sandwiches have pickles. Pick the pickles that you want if you wanna do like dill or chips. Um, we just sliced up some dill pickles that we had on hand. So we can have those for a sandwich. Also for sauces. Uh, a lot of times with crispy chicken sandwiches, there's different mayonnaises you can do. What I like doing is a mustard and barbecue sauce combo. It kind of gives a, a tangy sweet sauce to your, your, um, your chicken sandwich. And we just pre-mix it up. I use about 30 mils of the barbecue sauce, which is like two grams of carbs. This is G Hughes barbecue sauce. It's a, a very low calorie, low carbohydrate sauce. Uh, for every two tablespoons, it's like two grams of carbohydrates. So you're not adding a lot of calories in. Side note on that, if, if you need the calorie boost and you could just go for a full-fledged barbecue sauce with the sugars added in, um, just an easy way to really bump up calories if you need a lot of them. So uh, the mustard, I don't count macros on because it's, it's no calories added to it. And we add a little bit of stevia to it just to give it some extra sweetness. Last one that I'll bring up too, is avocado. So if you really need to boost up the fats in your sandwich, because uh, this can come out pretty low fat the way we're doing it, and you want to add on some like different healthy fats, you can definitely do some avocado slices to your sandwich. And one I don't have out, but I just leave it as an option, 
is you could add, if you need to add fat, more fats in, you could just add more cheese. Uh, you can do some cheese slices, and that's an easy way to add more fats into, the, into this. So what I'm gonna do today for my diet is I'm making two sandwiches. So I have two buns laid out, my eight ounces of chicken, and we're gonna get right into this recipe doing it. But first thing is we need to, to weigh out our containers in our, that have our egg and our flour in it. So how I do these macros is uh, I weigh out the container pre, before I dip my chicken in. So I'll know how much weight I have total and how much weight I lose. Then I can take that percentage and know how to remove those macronutrients and add it on to my total macros. And I'm gonna show you on my whiteboard how I do the math. So I know that sounds confusing with me explaining it. So I've already weighed out this container. I know my egg mix is 85 grams with, with everything. And I know my flour mix total is 76 grams. So we're, don't worry, we're gonna get back to these numbers and I'll, I'm gonna show you what to do with them. But let's go ahead and, and get started. So we'll have our egg mix, our flour mix, and we're gonna need our air fryer. Before we dip our chicken in, we're just gonna mix our seasonings into our flour. I've seen other people put them into the batter. Really doesn't matter. It's all gonna stick to the chicken, so. All right. Before we put our chicken breast in, we're gonna spray our air fryer with, with a, just a, a slight coat of olive oil so all that breading doesn't stick to it. So we take our first chicken breast. We're gonna coat it in our egg batter. Once we have it thoroughly coated, we move it to our flour. And just make sure it's thoroughly coated. All right, once we have that, we just move it right into the air fryer. So I put the chicken breast in the air fryer so we can now move and start the cooking process. And for these, they'll take about eight minutes a side, so 15, 16 minutes total. So just slide in the air fryer, plug it in. All right, so we hit our power button. We're gonna select the option to move over to poultry. And it's preset for 400 degrees and 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna watch it. Once it gets down past eight minutes, I'll open it up, flip it, let it go another eight minutes, and then uh, check the temperature because we want our chicken to 165 degrees. All right guys, while the chicken is cooking, we're gonna weigh our containers post chicken to see how much weight we lost, and then we can calculate what the egg and flour mixture we put on our chicken was, and we can get a, a pretty good estimate on, on what our total macros would be. So, we tear our scale out, weigh our egg mixture, 73 grams. And that was 85 grams, so I mean, you're really not adding a lot in with the egg or the flour. Our flour mix, 65 grams after. So 76 grams before. I'm gonna take y'all to my whiteboard. We'll do some math and I'll show you how, how to do this for macros. And then we'll total them up for the, the whole meal. All right guys, so we're gonna get, get nerdy and do some math. I'll show you how to do your, your macros. So I have my, my container, that was my container and my egg that I weighed out. So that's 85 grams. That one egg, I know the macros for, right? Six protein, five fat. My flour mix in the container um, was 76 grams, so that's 29 grams of carbs, four protein, and zero fat. So that's what we know before. We dipped our chicken in, and now we lost weight, right? So it's down to 73 grams on the eggs, 65 grams in the flour. So I'm gonna show you how to do the math on one of these. And it's really easy. So what you'll do is take your post number. So we're gonna do it up here, 73 divided by 
your pre number. 85. And I, and I already know what these math comes out to. It comes out to 0 0.85. And so what we'll do is just do 1 minus 0 0.85 because this is what we're going to get for how much percentage wise we added onto the chicken. So this is 15%. So 15% of our egg mix went on to our chicken. So 15% of the protein, 15% of the fat. And it's a really small amount. So if you're going to do 15.15 times 6 and times 5. So your new macros for this total meal, the total chicken that I'm using, I'm going to round this to one and one. So it's really close. It came out to like 0 0.8, 0 0.7 something. You're going to do the same math for your flour. And actually these numbers are really, really similar because this one comes out really close to 15% also. And so these new macro numbers, I have my math, comes out to four carbs. I'm going to round this to one protein and zero fat. So now we know how much flour and how much egg was added to our total meal. So now we can figure out our total macronutrients for the entire meal. All right, our timer went off for eight minutes. We're going to open up the air fryer, flip over the chicken, let it go another seven, eight minutes, and we'll check the temperature and make sure it's done. You can see it's already crisping up pretty good. Put it back in, it'll start back up. We'll set our timer for seven, eight minutes and check in and keep going. While our chicken's almost done, we'll put our buns in the toaster and, and toast them up. Totally up to you if you want to toast your buns. All right, timer went off on our, our chicken in the air fryer. It was right about seven minutes. I checked the temp and it was 165, so we're good to go. So we can grab our chicken and construct our sandwiches. So first thing, we'll take our mustard, barbecue sauce mix, just give a nice spread. Take some pickles, lay some on the bottom. Grab one of our chicken breasts. Turned out nice and crispy. And there we have it. Right, so I have constructed my two air fryer crispy chicken sandwiches. And I did the total macros, so I added back in the flour and a little bit of egg that we had. And for my two sandwiches with eight ounces of chicken, it came out to about 90 grams of carbohydrates. It was actually 88 grams of carbohydrates, 56 grams of protein, and five grams of fat. So very low fat. So like I said, if you need some more fat, you can always add some more things to it. I did burn my buns a little bit. <laughs> I toasted them a little bit too much. So uh, if you don't like toasted buns, don't leave it in the toaster for as long. But uh, sandwiches look great. So guys, stay tuned. Please let me know any other recipes that y'all think of that you might want to see. Leave comments below, questions. I'm happy to answer those for you. Let's uh, now enjoy this sandwich. Good stuff. Enjoy, guys.